is kind of a unique world unto itself. You can have a whole recording that's just a piano. In fact, I have many recordings that are just a piano. But you can also have a piano, think about like Basie, and how the piano worked in his band. It was just another instrument. But he could have carried the whole show on the piano. Piano is a pretty interesting instrument from that standpoint. So it poses some pretty interesting problems when we go to record it. Same kind of same kind of catch. Sorry, y'all. Just need to pace myself here. Yeah. So the piano makes some pretty interesting changes when we go to record it. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. If I if I put the microphones here, what part are they going to hear more? It's probably the hammers, right? It's going to be a little more of an aggressive sound. If I want to do some little Richard, some rock and roll, I would put the microphones right there and get it in your face, right? If I want it to be a little more classical and transparent, right? Classical music is real transparent, the recordings at least. I might put two microphones here that represent the ears, right? My old stereo pair, I might put them out here a little bit, right? Um, there's all kinds of different places to put the microphones. I've seen people put a microphone in this hole, and that works great too. It's limited, you don't get a whole bunch of the real Get the top stuff, you don't get the real low stuff, but that'll get you out of a bind. If you just put a piano right here, uh, a microphone right here, you can crank that in the monitors, as we learned from Chopper Brady. Um, so, what I got here, these are condenser microphones, just a little different um, type. These are Austrian, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, and look, they have, see the setting on the front? I can set them to all kinds of different pickup patterns, just like my other condenser microphones, right? These guys require phantom power, right? On the back here, I have other settings, pad and roll off. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that at a later time. But, but the purposes of this recording, since a piano is all by itself, I can record this piano as if I'm standing here in front of it. So I'm going to take these two microphones, and I'm going to set them up in a way that they're working together. Well, look at that, we're at a 90 degree angle again. Amazing how these things work. But y'all, what's different about these microphones compared to the last 90 degree angle we saw? They're not on top of each other? Well, they can be full circles, but these are just facing different directions. Right now, well, they're 90 degrees, just like the Bloom line setup, right? You're getting one side of the hammer and one side of the knot. Kind of. I'm yeah, thinking of it more in low and high. But what you got? They're not on top of each other? They're not on top of each other, but they're working in a coincident pair. But more importantly, they are set to cardioid, or heart shape, right? So now, when I go to blend them together, they better make sense in terms of that heart shape. So what I'm doing is I'm taking two heart shapes, just like we took two figure eights and we made them bloom line. God, that was a really funky bloom line. But, okay, so here's one heart shape, right? That's this microphone. And here's another heart shape. God, I'm so not good at this. <laughs> well, look. Come help you. you see my, uh, no thanks, Julia. God. Okay, so here's my two microphones, right? And you see they overlap in the middle? That's the part that's going to sound like it's right on the bridge of your nose. The parts that are on the outside, those are going to sound like they're kind of farther to the outside. So it's as if these microphones are recreating the way my ears work. None of our ears are flat up against our heads. Our ears kind of make radar dishes out from our heads, right? Well, that's what we're doing here is we're kind of making a radar dish with the microphone. So this right here can tell you from a million nights of putting a microphone on a piano that you're probably going to want them a little more like right here. And I always try to make sure everything's nice and tight. So now, we're listening, it's as if we have our head in the piano right here. 